WSAB and community partner McDonald's present WeatherWise Kids. My name is Danica and I'm a second grade. What technology do you use for the green screen? Ah, uh, the infamous green screen, a topic meteorologists get asked about often and the crowd favorite at all studio tours. Let me tell you their favorite activity is me using this green sheet and making them disappear. Uh, this all happened right where I'm standing. So they love that, although I put a lot of uh, time and effort into the science part. Their favorite part is that a uh, little green sheet of fabric, which of course makes them disappear on our green screen. But just how does it work? First, you must start with a backdrop of brightly colored fabric or paint, usually a vivid green. But the background can be any color. Typically in television, bright green or bright blue are used because these colors are drastically different from human skin tones and aren't usually found in clothing. Speaking of clothing, this is why you will never catch a meteorologist wearing green because they'll disappear. It's often referred to as a green screen, but the proper name is chroma key. Chroma keying removes a specific color element from a scene and replaces it with a different element. Basically, it's the process of removing one background and replacing it with another. For the effect to work, the green area must be evenly lit without any shadows. Once the green screen is identified and digitally removed, just about anything can be added to the background. But here at Storm Team 3, we prefer weather graphics. Thanks for the question, and if you want to come disappear on the green screen, sign up for a studio tour on the WSAV weather page. For WeatherWise Kids, I'm meteorologist Ariella Scalise.